Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the multi-party chat project, which is an new, exciting and innovative initiative that aims to revolutionize the field of dialogue research and language modeling. In traditional dialogue research, the focus has been primarily on a pairwise two-party conversation system. This basically ignores the everyday reality of a multi-party conversation. Now, the multi-party chat project addresses this gap by focusing on the multi-party conversation and developing strategies for language models to participate in such languages. So this is something that we're going to be checking out in today's video. We're going to talk a little bit about what they're trying to do, how they're actually processing this model, as well as looking at a demo. So with this thought, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. I'm always going to be dropping a lot of knowledge and content for you guys. So there's different types of videos that will definitely cater to your needs and wants. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed, please do so. Like this video and comment anything that you want to see in future updates. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. The study of dialogue research has mainly focused on conversations between two people. But in reality, people often converse in groups now this is what this actual project is trying to aim for and this is what we talked about at the start now in multi-party conversations models must possess two essential skills that pairwise trained models lack the ability to determine when to speak and the capacity to produce a coherent utterance grounded in multiple characters so I wanted to highlight a couple of things that this project is actually able to do with some of the examples that they've actually provided as OWL is able to do a lot of different things such as image description, multi-turn conversations where you're able to talk as well as identify certain things of an actual image using its encoders. You're also able to use cross image retention understanding. And secondly, you're also able to do different things with memes and jokes as well as a knowledge intensive Q&A as well as creative generation. So this is something quite useful in terms of its actual revolution of having different types of like dialogue research to actually help with the prompt generation. Now, for example, let's just look at something like an image description. So describe in the image as detailed as possible and you're able to see such a like responsive, detailed, like actual artificial contextual response and this is something that you're able to get where the image captures a busy city street filled with people cars and motorcycles which you can see all in this image right here now you're not only able to get something like this where you're able to get a descriptive analysis of the image but you're also able to get something like this where you're able to talk to the actual bot in terms of getting more information out of it so you're asking who is the man on the right and it's basically able to give you a description of who it is by it tells you it is Yao Ming, which is a Chinese professional basketball player, but an NBA. Now, who is the man on the left? You're able to see that he's a basketball coach. Now, who is the taller man? And obviously, you're able to talk to the bot and it gives you the right responsive images using its encoders by analyzing what's happening in the image. And lastly, we can talk about the cross image retention understanding. So are the clothes in the person are the clothes the person is wearing in the first picture different in the color from the clothes they are wearing in the second image? And the bot responds that yes, the person in this is in the first picture is wearing black a black shirt while the person in the second picture is wearing a gray shirt, which is absolutely amazing how encoders are working as well as how multi-light is able to evaluate the actual ability of large language models and this is something that is quite unique guys i definitely recommend that you check out these examples on their code because you're able to see different things and use cases of it so definitely check this out and with that thought let's get right back into the video now to test this model the performance of what actually happens is that researchers basically compared models trained on their newly created data set which is called multi light now what this does is that it pairs it with existing pairwise trained dialogue models and large language models with few short prompting and we can see that with this diagram over here in the stage one there's pre trained lms and it basically uses visual abstractors and visual encoders to process what's happening in the conversation and through this it is sent into an instruction tuning and it uses LoRa as well as other pre-trained LLMs and it does the exact same process to actually get a better 
like understanding as well as a fine tuning of what it's trying to accomplish. Now, in this, you see a model overview where this cute little dog is tired and is trying to express its weariness by saying Monday, just Monday. And this is something that we can see from this image where you have an image and it's sent in with the pre-trained LM. It is then sent to a visual encoder where it processes what's happening in the actual image. And that is sent into patch features where it puts it into different chunks and it basically summarizes and emphasizes what is happening in each chunk of the actual image. And this way it is sent into the visual abstractor where it then references and tokenizes what is happening in each of those chunks. And then it's sent obviously to a pre-trained LLM in which it basically takes in the analysis of what is actually happening in this and we can see that it's you're able to get a detailed response of what is happening from this image now the researchers found that multi gp or sorry not gpt but multi light data set improved the model's performance significantly in group settings and this is something that they've been actually seeing as to how it works in different cases and we will actually check this out later in the video where we will actually do a demo now the primary objective of this project is the twofold that is to evaluate the performance of current large language models when extended to the multi-party dialogue setting and to identify ways to improve these models where they fall short. The study basically focuses on two primary challenges and that is something that we talked about which is the turn taking and the coherence of utterances. Now the turn taking is crucial for maintaining the conversations flow and determining when to speak that is next like how critical it is for the actual chatbot to do so and if a speaker talks out or turns or remains silent when expected to respond it basically has a negative assessment to the actual project now the coherence of utterances is one of the next challenges that they actually are trying to focus on and this is where the ingenerative approach as well as uh, basic response requires considering consideration for the actual dialogue from multiple people in the conversation. Now, models must take into account that the participations that is coming from the different characteristics to produce a good response must be like adequate with a lot of information as well as coming at the right time in a particular conversation. Now, for something like this this is like one of the two problems that they're actually having and therefore this actual research aims to address these two primary challenges and improve large language models performances in multi-party conversations now we've seen this as something like we've seen how productive as well as how useful this could be but what are some of the actual like use cases of this because you might be wondering like what's so good about this like why are you showing me this but basically this project provides several important contributions in the ai world and in terms of the field of dialogue research and those ones are like in terms of like some of the benefits firstly i would say is it focuses on the multi-party conversations which is an important but an overlook aspect in dialogue research now i don't know if you guys know about a lot about this but by collecting and evaluating multi-party conversations in a structured environment like something like a conversation of a cross-image relation or something with a multi-turn conversation basically you're able to get uh, like valuable insights into these challenges as well as opportunities of basically improving how chatbots as well as LMs actually evaluate as well as collect data from these multi-party conversations Secondly, I believe that the project introduces multi-light data set, which is something that is quite new and it is specifically designed for multi-party conversations. So this is quite unique and contains a large number of conversations as well as utterances. Now, the data set provides a valuable resource for researchers to develop as well as evaluate language models for multi-party conversations. And lastly, I feel that the project it basically identifies two main challenges in modeling multi-party conversations and that is the turn taking and the coherence of utterances and basically it proposes strategies for addressing these challenges and i feel like as time goes on we're going to be able to see a progression for multi-party conversations in the structured environment now 
this is something that you can get a better understanding in in terms of its research paper. So I highly recommend that you check it out as there's a lot of information and a lot of different detailed analysis as to what they're trying to do as well as their roadmap. So I highly recommend that you check this out and I'll leave it in the description below. Now let us check out the actual use cases of this with the actual demo model. So let's actually check out this demo now. Now basically I just use one of their examples because it's much easier than generating my own. But basically it is saying that can you write me a master rap song that rhymes very well with the based on this image and basically it was able to do so and we can see it's able to contextually as well as demonstrate the model's ability to generate coherent and contextual appropriate like responses in a group setting and this is something that we'll also check out with other different like showcases of this demo we can see what is so funny about this image and the great thing about this is that we're able to see that's able to understand as well as use its encoders very very well now let's put this in and see if we're able to generate this. Now through this demo basically we're able to experience and the challenges as well as the opportunities of a multi-party conversation and it basically is going to help us get a better understanding of these techniques and strategies used in large modeling for group setting. Now. This demo is basically going to offer us a glimpse into the exciting world of dialogue research, guys, because this is going to be having this is going to give us so much potential for innovation and solutions of this field. Now, I don't know. Oh, well, we got it right here. So from this, we can see what's so funny about this image. Describe it panel by panel. And we can see that the image features a grandma rocking out a music with her sunglasses and while on a USB cable and plugging it into a cell phone. The grandma's enthusiasm and her unusual choice of music are what is what makes it actually funny. And if you can see that it actually detects like the skin as well as like the wrinkles on the finger to give you a better response as well as it makes a story of as to what it's trying to describe by this panel. Now let's check out one more. We can see something about this maybe something that we saw from the actual example from the diagram over here where we talked about like what's so funny about this image so let's generate this and i'll leave the links down in the description below and you can also even play around with the to top k as well as like how much you can spend in terms of tokens so let's see what i will do for this actual generation explain why it's so funny to me Monday, just Monday. Now you can do a lot of things with this guys and I definitely feel like this is going to be used a lot in different cases. Now let's see what we're able to get. I didn't scroll up, I kept pressing it, I kept getting more generated responses but we can see you're able to get like even more different types of responses which is quite cool. Now we can see something like this, a short one. This meme is funny because it combines two common phrases and that people often use when they are tired or feeling enthusiastic. Now the first line, it's not even Monday yet, implies that it's still early in the week and that the speaker is not looking forward to the upcoming weekend or the workday. So it's quite amazing how these encoders as well as these visual like construction is like based off with these large language models. And this is something cool with this model guys, because the multi chart like multi party chart chat project like is going to show the capabilities of language models in participating in multi party conversations and i personally feel like there's going to be a huge potential for this in the future guys cuz there's going to be a lot of use cases as well as different ways to utilize this in the business front so with that thought guys i hope you found this showcase on this project quite useful there's a lot of people actually looking into this so i highly recommend that you check it out you can install it as well as use it using the core libraries over here. You can also install it locally on your desktop. So if you want to check that out, you should definitely look at the link that I'll send in the, as well as put in the description below. Now with that thought guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to let me know what I should like focus on next time, definitely let me know. Uh, please subscribe and like this video guys as I'm going to be popping posting a little bit more throughout next weekend probably won't get a chance these next few days but i'll try my best to keep putting out value so that you guys can benefit so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time have an amazing day